The following is a paid program that is paid for by Planet TV Studios. From the heart of Columbus, Ohio, emerges Andalin Biosciences. Born at Nationwide Children's Hospital, where the pioneering FDA-approved systemic gene therapy was uncovered. Andalin is a leading organization specializing in cell and gene therapy development and contract manufacturing. Their mission is to expedite the creation and production of groundbreaking therapies, swiftly bringing innovative treatments to patients worldwide. Join us as we explore revolutionizing healthcare and reach new horizons in medical advancements. My son Andrew in 2001 was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, uh, which is a terminal illness. We were able to meet with one of the top researchers of the country at Nationwide Children's Hospital. And then five years later, he, Andrew, was the first in the world to go through a dystrophin gene transfer. We are now in a building that is partially named after him for what has put us on the landmark. For gene therapy. We're setting the stage and moving forward to be able to impact the world with the research based off of him and we're like steam rolling ahead. The origin of the name Andalin is a very powerful statement and it goes a long ways to describing uh, what we value in our company. So Andalin comes from two key patients in our history, Andrew and Evelyn. Uh, Andrew received uh, an early muscular dystrophy treatment and Evelyn received uh, a clinical uh, treatment for spinal muscular atrophy and they are both uh, very important uh, patients to us. Andrew and his family are true pioneers uh, who embody the extraordinary courage and hope that families place in us at Nationwide Children's Hospital and in Andalin to push the boundaries of scientific research and innovation in biotechnology. The groundbreaking work that we're doing here at Andalin in cell and gene therapy is taking our clients' uh, molecules that they've developed which treat very rare diseases that were previously uncurative and so we can develop and manufacture the drugs for them uh, and take it on to commercialization. Being born out of Nationwide Children's, we really brought that expertise from the hospital, from the Center for Gene Therapy, that we complemented with a lot of industry expertise in the meantime. And so we do believe we have a set of skills in-house with that foundational gene therapy knowledge and the industry knowledge that really you know, sets us up to be a leading player in the industry. We have a wide variety of clients. Some are in academics and uh, nonprofits. Others are large pharma or biotech companies, and they all have different needs. The majority of them will come to us with a gene of interest, and we will take that gene and we will develop the process around it. We will optimize it. We will scale it up, and then we will take it into a clinical and ultimately commercial manufacturing. Andalin is a fully integrated end-to-end -end service provider. Uh, meaning that we can go all the way from all the raw materials that are needed to produce a gene therapy, such as the cell lines and the plasmids, to your preclinical development, your toxicology material, and then the material that you will need for the clinical trials, so the phase one, phase two, but also the phase three, so the late stage material, and then all the way to commercial. And the big advantage is that you won't need to do any tech transfers, that will save you time and that will save you money as well. Two, one. Welcome to our newest facility. It's our third facility. Uh, it's our largest facility. It's our commercial facility. We've had a grandmother call us um, that was that had you know a child with a devastating rare disease. She did identify a PI that had a potential treatment and called us up just out of the blue and said, what can you do? And we, did, we helped her. When we do these things, we, we do take it personal. And we invest you know, all of ourselves into it. Um, whether that's a, a foundation, a single patient, um, or you know, a large population, this is the last hope. And, and we understand that. 
um, all too well. I would say the impact done by the research is that you are going to give the biggest hope to parents of children with terminal illnesses or life debilitating illnesses. It's incredible what Andalyn's going to do. I mean, I think we have done huge steps, but I'm thinking we're doing leaps going forward now. I can't wait for families like ours, what the possibilities will be for them. It's going to be incredible. Thank you for joining us today as we discussed Andalyn Biosciences and their impact on the future of cellular and gene therapy. Welcome to a groundbreaking exploration of artisanal gold mining, a $30 billion industry marred by harmful practices in lower socioeconomic communities worldwide. The Artisanal Gold Council is revolutionizing this landscape, eliminating mercury use and providing technology, healthcare, safety training and education. Their mission extends to securing fair market prices for gold and preventing it from falling into the wrong hands. Join us on this enlightening journey towards responsible mining. The Artisanal Gold Council is a not-for-profit organization that's dedicated to the improvement of the artisanal gold mining sector. ASGM, artisanal and small-scale gold mining, think of it as mum and pop gold mining. Where artisanal gold mining is occurring in more than 80 countries and it produces 20% of the world's gold every year. 20% of the world's gold is about five or 600 tons of gold and it's worth about $30 billion. And it is an economic engine that uh, really supports the rural poor all over the world. This is an excellent system of transferring wealth, just like it was 100 years ago, from the rich to the poor. Rural communities, when they have gold, there's a large amount of financial security built into certain types of transactions. It, of course, helps them gain wealth, helps them become upwardly mobile, but it's also a large amount of certainty. We really need a, a dedicated vehicle to work towards the improvement of the sector and bring it into its rightful place as part of the global gold production system. That's what the council does. That's its mission, is to help the artisanal gold miners and their communities and the artisanal gold mining sector take its rightful place. So our preferred approach to helping is to help them develop viable, sustainable, responsible businesses. So the Artisanal Gold Council, uh, a large part of what we do is to improve environmental performance of artisanal miners. The good news is artisanal miners generate less waste than industrial miners per unit gold. And the reason for that is they only mine high grade materials, so it's a small volume but that are rich in gold. Artisanal miners often operate in a trial and error sort of exploration mode and that's very wasteful. So they might work on two or three times more land than they actually need to and they might use mercury to extract the gold. So with some good training and capacity building and some partnerships and hopefully the, the generation of a startup enterprise, a social enterprise, we can use less land to produce the same amount of gold and we can completely eliminate the use of mercury and other toxic chemicals. By developing a formal business that allows capital to flow into these businesses because it lowers risk, it brings confidence to investors. We can upgrade their technology and we can actually get more gold, so that's our value proposition, is getting more gold using zero mercury, you know, everyone benefits. There's a lot of negative effects of mercury from environmental aspects and health aspects also. So it's important to move away from the use of mercury because there are a lot of alternatives that not only is safer but also would help the miners increase their production. Artisanal miners also, they often don't recover as much gold as they could out of the material that they mine. So the investment also can increase their recovery. Many artisanal miners only get 50% of the gold out of those materials. But the biggest upside to artisanal miners is higher recovery. They could make 30% more money by using improved practices, improved technologies, but it requires investment. 
the AGC has been very active and very uh, creative in providing not only technical solution but also bringing governments as well as NGOs together in order to find a solution that works for artisanal miners. The future of the artisanal and small-scale gold mining sector is a more formal sector, uh, a more um, understood sector, I think a, a more appreciated sector, a sector that um, the world can be much more comfortable with and it's a sector that will continue to power rural development and poverty alleviation. You can help by getting in contact with us and discovering how you can invest in building a sustainable artisanal gold mining business. The artisanal gold mining sector is as good a source of gold as any source of gold in the world. And in some cases, it's better. Thank you for joining us today as we discuss the Artisanal Gold Council and their impact on the future of responsible gold mining. In the realm of cutting-edge technology, Tissue Gnostic stands out as a provider of fully integrated tissue cytometers for comprehensive whole slide imaging, covering bright field, fluorescence, confocal, and multispectral capabilities. Their advanced systems facilitate high-end analysis of various specimens, including tissue sections, cultured cells, tissue microarrays, smears, and more. Discover tissue gnostic solutions for spatial phenotyping, single cell analysis, molecular single cell profiling, machine learning based tissue classification, and a host of other innovative applications including precision medicine. When it comes to cancer, time is of the essence. The quicker cancer is discovered, the greater the likelihood treatment will be successful. Those chances increase when state-of-the-art instruments are used to pinpoint potential cancer cells. At Tissue Gnostics, a global firm with offices in Los Angeles, Vienna, Beijing, Taipei, and Brisbane, they are at the forefront of this medical revolution, embracing technology to improve health and save lives. Tissue Gnostics is a trendsetter in the field of image and tissue cytometry. We are the one-stop shop for highest solutions in automated microscopy and image analysis using machine learning and deep learning technologies. The origin of tissue gnostics comes from a need. The need of researchers and medical professionals to quantify single cells in tissue environment and understand their interactions in spatial context. Also, the main business of tissue gnostics is development of software for automation of microscopy. It is important to understand that we are not just a software company, we are in fact a manufacturer of medical devices in accordance to the ISO 13485 standard and the in vitro diagnostics regulation. Utilizing its cutting-edge tissue cytometers, Tissue Gnostics is placing digital imaging and visual analysis of tissue samples in humans, animals and plants in the capable hands of artificial intelligence. By doing so, they are reducing time, effort and the potential for human error out of the equation. In order to understand what causes cancer in a particular patient, we need to determine the molecular mechanism that causes the disease. This cannot be done by just observing the phenomenon, but we have to look inside the cells and the molecules that are involved. And this requires scanning and analysis of large samples and quantification of molecular markers. So automation and quantitative measurement is key to understanding the mechanisms which are the, at the basis of precision diagnostics. Tissue Gnostics provides the tools that allow researchers as well as medical doctors to determine molecular mechanisms with the precision that inspires. Throughout the world, researchers are not only turning to Tissue Gnostics innovative technology, but their associated software to unravel the mystery of the molecular foundation of life. The work at Tissue Gnostics matters because the global impact of our company and its instruments is reflected in thousands of studies and research publications from clients in more than 60 countries on all continents. 
The prevalence of cancer has been increasing over the previous decades and it's one of the major reasons in humankind for early death. Here we are looking at the prostate cancer patient's um, genomic DNA and looking at and trying to find out the variation in their DNA which, is, which are associated with the risk of prostate cancer. We are now expanding this work to identify the functional role of these genetic variations so we can then convert these um, genes which are regulated by these, these genetic variations into biomarker for prostate cancer or can also use these as therapeutic target for the disease. My own research um, leads to several innovation however I had no previous experience in running it in, in real life and converting these into a real life products and my experience at TG will prepare me for um, for the next phase of my career. By converting a centuries-old practice of look and estimate microscopy to computer-assisted microscopy, Tissue Gnostics is helping the medical industry meet the 21st century challenges of healthcare. In doing so, they're unlocking new possibilities when it comes to medical treatment and in the process of saving lives, and offering a brighter future for patients diagnosed with cancer. Thank you for joining us today as we discuss tissue gnostics and their impact on the future of advanced precision medicine. RX Help Centers have dedicated themselves tirelessly to assisting individuals in saving money on their high-cost prescription medications. Expert patient advocates collaborate with doctors, manufacturers, and charitable organizations to secure the lowest cost for thousands of medications daily. If faced with exorbitant prescription expenses, help is readily available. They specialize in making a difference and excel in their field. The numbers speak volumes about their success in aiding people in need. RX Help Centers is a fee-based prescription advocacy service that helps individuals and self-funded employers gain control over the really high drug costs. Our goal is to make sure that nobody goes without their medications. We will reach out to the doctor, we will find samples, we will find coupons. We help people get their medications either at no cost or at low cost. It's virtually any individual who has high cost medications and high out of pocket costs is a potential customer for us. RX Help Centers has been helping me um, get the medication that my son needed for his cystic fibrosis. He was on one medication that was extremely expensive. Whenever I'd have a problem, they were always available to help make sure Michael got all the medications he needed. It doesn't matter who you are or how much the medication is, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Our job is to make sure that you can. I know that they're not going to have to choose at the end of the day, do I eat or do I take my meds. Here at Arc Health Centers, we're able to step forward and get their medication for free to where they no longer have to make those choices. We help brokers and third-party administrators manage high-cost prescription medication by working on all medications, and we provide the greatest value in the industry. I feel like they treat every individual employee like they're the most important person that they're working with. First and foremost, our advocates have to be empathetic. They have to understand that they are helping people through very difficult situations and oftentimes they're meeting our patients on what could be the worst days of their lives and they have to be able to put themselves in that person's shoes. Our advocates are knowledgeable, they are hardworking, and they don't quit until our patients get what they need. I basically look at RX Help Centers as an answer to my prayers. I have somebody to reach out to that I know is going to help me, and I know we're going to get the problem solved. So it is peace of mind. I sleep better at night knowing that they are there. RX Help Centers helps businesses and their employees save money on prescription medication by tapping into manufacturer programs, to grants, to foundations, um, even coupons. Financially, they've helped 
our uh, employer clients source over 20 million dollars of medications for their employees. If people aren't taking their medications because they can't afford them, our services provide a way for them to get their medications either at no cost or at low cost to make it affordable. The more adherent people are to their treatment plans, the better their health is, uh, the better employees they are, the better family members they are. It, it just, it has a ripple effect. If we can save that employee tens or hundreds of dollars, in many cases, we end up accidentally saving the employer thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Since uh, 2015, uh, RX Health Centers has saved its individual and employer clients in excess of $500 million. We have uh, the lowest actual cost of anybody in the industry, uh, again, because we are a fee-based organization. We don't take percentages of savings. We understand that we are providing an incredibly important service to people, and this is more than just a way to make money for us. This is a way, really, to help people in need. Uh, there's a lot of uh, self-satisfaction in being able to see the relief that they experience when we can take that burden off their shoulders. They do their job and they do it really well and they're very effective at how they execute. Thank you for joining us today as we discussed RX Help Centers and their impact on the future of affordable prescription advocacy. Blue Line Sterilization Services, an ISO-certified independent contract sterilization company based in Novato, California. They focus on ethylene oxide and ethylene gas sterilization, catering to small loads with swift turnaround times. Recognizing the urgency in the device design and development process, they pride themselves on efficiency. They partner with local microbiology testing laboratories that allow them to offer low-cost solutions with rapid results, supporting your tight timelines and budgets. When it comes to the medical device and biotech industries, time is of the essence. Delays can increase costs, impact clinical trials, and prolong the time to market for life-changing products. Brant Gard experienced this in the more than 30 years he led quality teams for biotech and medical device startups. So he founded Blue Line Sterilization Services as a solution that offers the industry a quick, efficient way to sterilize small volumes of medical products without sacrificing quality. When we founded the uh, company in, the, in 2009, uh, we were the first company to uh, focus on small loads for medical device developers. We were a groundbreaking service in that we were providing a support to start up medical device manufacturers with small loads that uh, had, not been, uh, had not been addressed in the past. People that want to introduce a new product to market have to wait until they have availability, which isn't always ideal, especially when you're, you know, venture capital money and you're trying to meet a deadline and have results. We really considered ourselves then and still consider ourselves to be uh, the FedEx of the industry. Fast service, excellent customer service, and reliability that really had not been seen before. We service uh, a ton of companies. A lot of them are R&D developmental companies. Uh, some of them are large players that are on back order and they need stuff to get pushed out really quickly. So they'll use us because they know that we can provide that. And it's the next day service that's really also ground baking. The Blue Line Sterilization service that we provide to a startup companies helps them in a variety of ways. Uh, the most obvious is, of course, the, the, the speed and, and reliability of, of our service. It helps customers to significantly cut the amount of time it takes them to do design iterations. Um, we can turn around product to them in a matter of days rather than what is typically now um, a matter of weeks uh, for the larger sterilization services. Benefiting both uh, investors by preserving their capital and getting them to market faster, reducing their risk of 
being beaten to the market by a competitor. Blue Line has really benefited the companies that I have worked at with their fast turnaround. So having a local sterilization service provider in the Bay Area is huge. It is not a readily available service. So when we've had really hot, um, very pressing, urgent R&D needs, they've been able to turn around um, sterilization cycles for our R&D product and also um, for production. So continuing on as our products were released, uh, commercialized, we continue to use Blue Line for uh, our commercial products that we would sell. And they provided, again, very reliable, fast turnaround service um, with a menu of different options, different service levels, depending on how quickly we needed product turned around. With its turnkey validation and small batch release projects, which are needed to establish that medical devices are sterile and safe to use on patients, Blue Line has shined. Its experience has given Blue Line the ability to conduct these projects quickly at low cost, minimizing the time and expense that startups often face in the preliminary stages. The main benefit that we have overall is that we help our customers to get new and improved products out to the market much more quickly thereby providing a benefit to, to health care and, and providing better outcomes to, uh, um, to people needing medical services. A lot of these companies have venture capital and they have deadlines and the medical device manufacturing process isn't seamless. They run into issues like material shortages. So their plans get pushed back and then they find themselves backed up against a wall where they have to produce product. Doctors got a surgery you know, in Florida, and if they don't get it there in time, the whole project fails. So it's really important that it gets done quickly and gets done properly because of that fact. It's, it's them with their backs against the wall and needing the product as quick as possible, and we deliver. The philosophy at Blue Line Sterilization Services is a simple but important one. Companies with dynamic medical development programs need sterilization services that support fast device iterations and reduce time to market. With only small chambers, Blue Line is focused on startup companies with new products in development. The sooner these new products reach the market, the sooner we will see improvements in healthcare delivery and save lives. Blue Line is working hard to help make that happen. Thank you for joining us today as we discuss Blue Line Sterilization Services and their impact on the future of medical device sterilization. Thank you for watching. Join us next time to discover other new frontiers with those that help to make the world a better place. The proceeding was a paid program that was paid for by Planet TV Studios.